It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Thought I'd have a little fun with you folks. I want to welcome you, my Bible in 365, brothers and sisters. We have arrived at the book of Jude, and quite a book it is. Now, I have to tell you, this one is an awesome one. A lot of people have labeled this very short book to be called a warning against apostasy or departure from the faith. I think it's a lot deeper than that. I think that this is a book that is designed to bring us into a sense of reality concerning the things that we cannot see, and that is the invisible war in front of us. Now, don't get me wrong, understandably so, Jude does give us a very thorough understanding of the doctrinal problems that many people were actually uh, teaching. And he was warning us of the type that do these things, right? He makes lots of reference to different types of people. And I'll read you some of the references from some of the verses. He uses terms like godless men. He says they change the grace of our God into a license for immorality. Boy, are we watching that right now with the gay and lesbian agenda and all the other wicked things that are going on, the exploitation of children. Uh, Jude talks about the fact that they deny Jesus. Uh, like Sodom, they are given to sexual immorality. They are dreamers who pollute their own bodies. That's another uh, very interesting one. By the way, there's a lot of implication to that. Um, he refers to these people as unreasonable animals, right? Or unreasoning animals, the way it would actually be translated. And it's very interesting. They are blemishes in love feasts. They are clouds without rain, trees without fruit, wild waves of the sea foaming up their shame. I mean, there's some crazy descriptions. They are scoffers who, of course, follow their own ungodly desires depressed yet? Listen, you shouldn't be. The picture that Jude is drawing is what happens when people take their eyes off the Lord. Now, he also, it's one chapter, but don't be deceived. He talks about all kinds of other things. He talks about fallen angels. He will talk about a certain dispute that came up with Michael uh, and uh, the devil, right? Michael the archangel. And this is an interesting one because this is how we learn how to deal with people who are demon-possessed or how we deal directly with issues issues related to the enemy. If somebody comes up to you and says, Satan be knocking at my door and I answer and fight him. Well, that's not true because if Satan's knocking at my door, uh, my pants are probably going to be soiled. I'm running out the back door over the fence, even though I can't hop any fences, I'll still do it. Run down the boulevard and pray to the Lord that he handles answering the door while I'm running away because we have a very worthy adversary that only the Lord can handle, right? He also talks about a very interesting prophecy, a prophecy of Enoch. And it is interesting how we do not have this writing concerning Enoch, although Jude makes reference to it. There is a lot of stuff that we are going to discover in this book. You are going to be blessed. And of course, I have a full teaching through the book of Jude. You can get it at CalvaryChapelSignalHill.com. You can get it at JamesCadiz.com. You can, of course, go to our YouTube page. There's so many different places where you can get the material. But I am so glad that you guys are here at the end of the year. You are near the end of your journey, and I've got great news for you. Hopefully, you'll be doing this hundreds of times again and again, reading through the Bible. I have read through the Bible easily 100 plus times, maybe even more than that, probably just that much in Bible college alone, and it still never gets old. Never. It's awesome. And that's the blessing of the Bible that we read. And this is a lifelong journey. We are excited. I'm excited to be on this journey with you. Very much looking forward to it. Been talking to Erica about some of the cool plans we have for 2023. And I cannot wait to be a part of that to give you the best biblical education possible. And we are going to bless you. We're going to blow your minds. And we're going to do our very best to serve you in every way possible that you might be encouraged in your walk with the Lord and that you might grow. God bless you guys. We love you. Keep fighting the good fight.